<laughs> well, we always look forward to a visit from our first guest who went from NBA star to TV star. He's back to preview his latest morning show, Mystery Countdown to Murder, premiering this Sunday night at 9, 8 central at Hallmark Movies and Mysteries. Let's give it up, everybody, for Rick Fox. Hey. Hey. Woo. Good to be back. All right, man. Here. Great to see you, you as too. always. So much yeah. fun when you're here. Such a good guy. One of the best guys on the planet. Before we dive into the latest installment of this murder mystery, of course, I think it's important to kind of point out the fact that there's been a major development between oh, your character Ian, Holly Robinson, Pete's character Billy, and by major development, I think you know what I'm talking yeah. about. Yes, um, <laughs> we pay off uh, the patience of our viewers for the last five episodes. Uh, there may be some actual growth in the relationship yep. with some actual maybe safe physical contact. <laughs> uh, uh, there may be a kiss somewhere. I think there's oh, definitely a kiss. Yeah. 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 There is. I mean, it is about time. It is, Rick. it is. And it's not the first time, actually. Uh, Holly and I, as you know, have worked together before on yeah, a show yeah. called Love, Inc. And we had our first kiss there, so this is our first kiss between Ian and Billy. All right. I think everyone's been waiting for that, and everyone's been expecting it. I mean, the two of you, stop trying to fight it. We all know you love I'm, each other. I'm <laughs> impressed that sort of you waited this long. Like, usually... Well, because they're, they're, they're colleagues. We had the, so yeah, we had the high school We had the high school relationship. Yeah. Yeah, so we, had to, yeah. we had to work our way back. Into, okay, uh, that's right. Okay. And, and part of that working your way back is um, taking dance classes together. And you guys yes. do a little salsa dancing before that kiss actually occurs. Holly's so, pretty good. Yeah, you know, I they, they think... <laughs> Who's the better dancer between the oh, two of you? Because yeah. you have some experience. I, I do. I, well, I had some training with Dancing with the Stars. Uh, but Holly actually was probably the easy, She was probably the most confident when it came to the dance. I, I needed you know, training, and I lost some, my way a little bit here. But I found it back. Uh, my character, Ian, in this, in this scene of us dancing is not supposed to be very good. Oh, okay. So, okay. so I had to throw back my skills yeah, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> you didn't want to like, be too good. I, I get it. I didn't want to be too good. To reel it back. But in real life, you are pretty good. You and Cheryl were in Dance with the Stars, and you lasted a long time. We good. did, yeah. We had a good run, and and I, I, I think back to it, it actually taught me a lot about control and letting go, not, right. being per not having to be perfect at everything oh. you do. Uh, and so that was a lesson I took away from that, but also I got some dancing skills for the scene with Holly. And it's funny because during the time when you were on Dancing with the Stars with Cheryl, Holly actually interviewed you. She did. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she, great. she was on the talk at the time. Yeah. That's right. There she is. There you guys are yeah. funny. It all comes back full circle. It sure did. See? And uh, she asked the tough questions in that interview for sure. It, she wanted to know how uh, how my significant other at the time uh, was handling the relationship. That can be tough. It See? is. It's hard. Yeah. She knows. She knows. All right, that's, it's time to dive into all things uh, Countdown to Murder. Uh, here we go. I want to find out what yeah. you and Holly are trying to solve in this installment. Well, amidst all the laughter that we have on set, and right. we enjoy working with the cast and crew, uh, there is always a murder and a mystery. So we try to remind ourselves that somebody died. In this case, the countdown to murder takes us on a series of, of uh, solving what potentially might be a, a serial Serial murder oh boy. on the loose. Okay. And so there's some clues that go down there and they, in the form of a duck, a number yeah. of a series of ducks with a riddle attached to it. So as always, Holly, uh, coming from that fine cri you know, fighting camp, uh, yeah. family background, has that genetic uh, makeup to be a step ahead of me all the time. And I'm constantly trying to keep her <laughs> out of impersonating a police officer and getting both of us in trouble. Uh, but it, without her, I don't know if I'd ever solve these things. I mean, right. that's the dynamic that we love. That's yeah. the dynamic. We have a clip of pretty much just that. Uh, Ian getting uh, a little frustrated and a little worried yeah. for Billy trying to get involved in uh, solving this case. Let's take a look. Why was he working here? He needed a job. He got fired from Fairweather Market. So you hired him, a murder suspect? Ian, I've known him for years. He was the produce manager. I didn't know he was a suspect. OK, you know, it's hard not to tell you what to do, but you can't do this. Do what? Involve yourself. You're putting your life at risk. Well, so are you. Yeah, but I'm a trained police officer. You said you knew what you were getting into. Hey, uh, we, should, um, we should head back to the station. Nice work on the uh, surveillance footage, by the way. Don't get me wrong, I don't approve, but, you know, it's, uh, we'd still be waiting on that warrant if it weren't for you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Awkward. 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 I really just feel like she should go to the police academy and just, just be done with it. Go, no. Get the badge. Go, I mean, get the official on. badge. I, I like the dynamic like this. Hawk, Hawk may not I like, like it. it. Like this. My, partner, my partner, my partner, Hawk. He's not going to be about that at <laughs> no, all. He's but not you know, gonna I think be about I, I just may have written a new plot twist uh, yeah. into the next movie. So. You, we just said, you just mentioned that the serial killer actually leaves clues in the form of rubber duckies. Yes. 
at yep. each crime scene, which is, you know, as a mother of a young child, it's a little strange for me. It's a little too close <laughs> to home because the serial killer is apparently um, <laughs> inspired by a children's show. That's that I, true. It's a little creepy. Take a look. Okay. Yeah? Okay. The song well. You know yes, it. I know the Debbie song. Debbie well. sang oh, already. Alexander, every mom at home knows that song well. I think that's why it was a little too close to home for me. I mean, I will tell you this: a lot of children's programming will will make you a little cuckoo, but never sent you on a serial <laughs> killing binge. Let's <laughs> hope not. I know that you guys had a lot of fun with those duckies on set, didn't you? We did a, a great casting <laughs> of the ducks, but then we looked around, and at one point there were ducks everywhere. And there was one extra in particular, and I say this lovingly because she was amazing, um, but she might have went a little too far with the Hollywood uh, Botox, you know, she kind of got, <laughs> oh, she started and to get the duck in? lips, oh, and I, and I kept, <laughs> kept looking at her in the scene, I kept thinking to myself, wow, I get it, okay, there's a duck, there's a lot of duck clues, but are you one of the clues? <laughs> I wasn't sure. No, she <laughs> was in character. She was in the script. She, was in know, she wanted to become a doctor. She did. Well, I don't even a lot know of that in this town. Well, so she looked a little bit like this. Guess what? We've got some rubber ducks here. <laughs> hey. uh, Deb, okay, I'm going to give you this game. one right here. Right. We're going to play a little game, and don't worry, your life's Where's not in danger college? like in the. Okay, good, this good. Is, but your reputation just may be. All right. Because here's the thing: we understand that your your sort of your background for the character of Ian was sort of uh, you know pulled from some of the famous detectives of the '70s and the '80s on television, yeah. and so we're going to test your knowledge to see how much you know. Okay. And every time you get an answer right, you, you get, get to take over duck. Rubber Ducky. Here we go. <laughs> okay. He's wearing lipstick. <laughs> Red Duck, that's what we're playing for right here. Question number one, the $6 million man fought many unusual villains over the years, but only one mythological creature, which was the Loch Ness Monster, King Kong, or Sasquatch? Oh, Sasquatch. Sasquatch. Oh, yeah. no, he's a run through the mountains. Yeah, he was always about, Thank you. We should have a duck squeak for the yeah. right answer. Wait, did you say mythological? A lot of people believe Sasquatch is <laughs> yes. I'm sorry. What are you talking well, about? For some I mythological. You asked, Cameron, okay? <laughs> All right, now, for the green duck question. Oh, we have whoops, to I messed there that up. Go. I messed it up. The star of this colorful 80s detective series was offered the role of Indiana Jones, but his TV commitment forced him to turn it down. Mm. Oh, gosh, that's a shame. Wow. Was it A, Pierce Brosnan, B, Tom Selleck, or C, Lee Majors? Well, Lee was the bionic uh, $6 million man. Yep. Uh, so not Lee, or, or maybe. Um, geez, uh, I'm going to go Tom Selleck. Wow. Is that right? Yeah? Okay. You Bad got it right. Yeah. Well, wow, that would have been you. a different series. But I also really appreciate Jones. how serious you're taking these answers. Like, you no, really no, no, no. I watch all these shows. Okay, yeah, very sure. good, very good. Yeah. That's good. All right, so here's a tough one. Yellow Duck is on the line. Question number three. What okay. beautiful actress played Officer Judy Hoffs opposite co-star Johnny Depp oh, on 21 that's, Jump Street? That's easy. <laughs> Holly Robinson. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's that's nice. Nice. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, that's that's what we like to sure. do for you. Man. I appreciate you know that. Look at that. Congratulations Thank Thank on you. all your winnings. I can take them home. You're a good man. This is You're better than an NBA I'll be, I promise I not to create any more mysteries. And by the way, Holly is, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Holly's actually going to uh, be here on Monday for the big uh, two-hour finale of Meet the Peets. That's right. And then the two of you are coming back again later in the week to talk more morning show mysteries. We're excited about that. Squeaky. Sorry. Squeak. <laughs> but right now, we're happy that you joined us today, everybody. Don't miss the world premiere of Morning Show Mysteries Countdown to Murder this Sunday night at 9, 8 central on Hallmark Movies and Mysteries. That was fun, Rick.